Welcome back, gentlemen. There are three things you should know about this video. One, Essentials has sponsored it. Two, I only agreed to do this if they let me be 100% honest about my review, just like I was with Hudson and May. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below in the description, but for those of you who have seen it, know that it wasn't 100% positive. I definitely had some feedback. And three, since all y'all kept telling me they make the best men's essentials and basics, like hoodies, pants, Henleys, then I took it upon myself to take more of a scientific approach to testing out their flagship product, the t-shirt. So in this video, we're gonna go over size accuracy, how they fit out the box, washing and wearing, do they shrink at all? Exercising, how do they hold up in the gym? And finally, a pajama test, because what better way is there to test comfort? <laughs> Now starting with sizing, this is how they fit fresh out of the package. Based on their size chart on the website, I made sure to go with an extra large and it fit perfectly. And I usually wear a large, so make sure you size up when you get one. And the long sleeve version is made of a tinsel cotton mix. And tinsel has special properties to it that make it very wrinkle resistant, super soft to the skin, and it absorbs moisture and keeps your body cool. So to test that out, I took the burgundy color to the gym. If you follow me on Instagram already, you've already seen this video, but this is only about 20 minutes into cardio. And usually I do not show my sweat that early into a workout, but that shows you this fabric is actually doing its job. It's absorbing my sweat more than a normal t-shirt would, therefore keeping my body cool without my shirt feeling really heavy or wet. Now when it comes to washing and wearing, here's how the short sleeves fit when you wash them and dry them in the dryer versus air drying. Now with this blue shirt, I threw it in the dryer with the rest of my darks on hot cycle, just like most guys do. But if you look at the tag on the essential shirt, it tells you to tumble dry it low. And if you're like me and you go the extra mile to take care of your t-shirts, I hang dry everything. So the black shirt, as you can see, definitely stayed in perfect condition. And on top of that, it maintained its luxurious softness and the heaviness that the essential shirt is known for. Oh, and speaking of the softness and the weight of the shirt, this has to be the reason why these sell out so fast. And all you guys in my t-shirt video were like, Devin, you gotta try the Essentials tee. It's the best t-shirt. I see now, and I can honestly say these are the weightiest and softest shirts I have ever felt. And if you know this channel, you know I am a t-shirt enthusiast because I love to be able to have a t-shirt be more than a t-shirt. I wanna dress it up and dress it down because I'm very smart casual. For the final test, those of y'all who follow me on Instagram already know that a couple months ago, I took a short vacation to visit my family in Dallas where basically I spent all my time just lounging around the house. And I'm telling you, this passed the pajama test with flying colors. So if you want to at least try one of these out, which I do highly recommend you try at least once, I got a discount code Devin10 and a special link in the description just for y'all to use when they drop. And the only real feedback I have is that if you're not really a muscular guy, if you're not really a fit guy, it's not going to fit you well unless you go a size up. Okay. So if you're slim or you're ripped, you're all good to wear this. However, if you're kind of an average build or a thicker dude, go up in a size, but the size stops at XL. So another piece of feedback is expand your sizing, please, because other guys that are bigger, larger stature should definitely enjoy this softness because it is definitely next level. Now keep in mind, the Essentials Web Shop sold out in less than two days last time they dropped. So mark your calendars for April 27th, 10 a.m. EST. If you're in California, that is 7 a.m. So now that you know my experience, I would love to hear from y'all. Drop a comment right now if you've ever tried Essentials. I would love to hear your honest feedback. And even if you've never tried the brand, still speak your mind. What do you think about this brand so far? How do you feel about it? And before I get out of here, I'm gonna cover the sneaker of the day. These are the Gen K Icon Knit by K-Swiss. As you can see, it's a full knit upper. You got leather detail there in the heel and also right there on the lateral inside of the shoe. And if you notice right here on the outsole, you have a signature or an autograph from Gary V himself. This is a collaboration with Gary V, very uh, well-known entrepreneur online especially. He has a very strong personal brand and he's a pretty inspirational guy. So I got him to sign these about two years ago at Complex Con and therefore I will never be wearing them. So there you go. Thanks for watching.